Hi everyone, welcome back to the Making a Pong Game YouTube series. This is Jonathan here, and let's take a look around Unity to see what it is we're actually looking at here. So the first area I want you to focus in on in this Unity project is this bottom area here called uh, the Project tab. Now the Project tab is where is the area that is going to store all of the files associated with our project. And I just want you to realize you can navigate, when you're navigating around here, you can resize anything, you can move windows around. But for consistency, I'm just going to keep everything the way it is here by default. Uh, but just so you can know, you can do this. Uh, there's some tabs down here, it's console and animation. We're not going to deal with those right now, I don't want to confuse you. We'll be getting to them later. I'm not sure if we'll do, be doing animations in this, but we will be using the console. Uh, next, Unity uses something called scenes to navigate around a game. And a scene is essentially a level or a menu. Basically, whenever we load into a new area, we're loading a different scene. So this area here in our hierarchy is kind of like the project tab, except it only keeps track of what game assets we're using within a current scene. Now, if that doesn't make sense, it will when we actually get to building the game. But for now, I'm just trying to give you a basic idea. Over here on the right side, where it says services and inspector, uh, if you click inspector, you're not going to see anything now, but inspector will give us details on any individual selected asset. So if I click this main camera here, you'll see we get a whole bunch of different options for this main camera. So this is our breakdown for an individual item. Uh, you're not going to worry about the services tab. And finally, this center area here is our main game area, where if we click play, we can uh, we would play our game if there was anything to play, but right now it's a blank project, so you're not going to see anything. By the way, if you started up Unity and it asked you to make an account, that's perfectly fine. Go ahead and do that. Next, uh, these options might be slightly different if you're on a Mac, but if you're on a PC, you should see the following windows up here. I want you to click Edit and go under here to Preferences. Now, under external tools, you're going to see this area called external script editor, and it may say Microsoft Visual Basic. Uh, if it does, you can leave it as that, or you can click here and click Mono Develop, which is the program I will be using to show you how to edit scripts. You can use Microsoft Visual Basic just as well. It will just look a little bit different. So I'll leave that as an option, but if you want to follow along exactly with me, use Mono Develop. And under here, under Colors, this play mode tint, uh, by default you won't see this blue, it'll be kind of a grayish color, and I just want to show you what that is. If we, uh, or actually I'll just click here, use defaults, if I click play now with this default, you'll see when we're in game mode, which is where we're actually playing our game, the screen color changes a little bit, but it's really, really hard to notice that you're in this play mode. And if you make any changes while you're in here, let's just change this uh, camera's background color. Um, I can do that, but as soon as I exit play mode, it reverses back to what it was by default. And if you're using this default color, you might change something and then exit here and realize that it didn't actually save because you were in play mode. So if we go back to edit and go to, uh, where was it, preferences, colors, we can just change that to any distinct color you want. So whether you make it a red or a green or a blue, just something that makes it stand out a little bit more. So when you do click play, it's obvious you're in a different play mode. I don't like that color, but I'll change that later. Uh, okay, so let's just recap what we've learned here. So navigating Unity, the hierarchy is where you view all of your assets currently in use within a particular scene. And the project folder is where you view all of your assets for the entire project, whether they are in use or not. Now, I'm going to give you a challenge. And whenever you see these two, uh, this pause button here in the bottom right corner, I'm going to ask you to pause the video and try to do something on your own. So in this case, just navigate around Unity until you feel comfortable with it. This is a very easy challenge. Uh, if you haven't done so already, go to the build settings and choose a different color for that play mode tint and change to mono develop and if, if you'd like. And then in that project window, you can create the following folders. And those little lines just separate where one folder ends and another one begins. So name those folders exactly like I've shown you here. One, scenes, two, prefabs, three, animations, and so forth. So pause the video and give that a go.
Okay, welcome back. How did you do? Let's go take a look. So if I go over to Unity, I've created these folders here, uh, just in the order I showed you. And if you don't know how to create them, just right click anywhere in this area. And just like anywhere else on your computer, go to create folder, uh, select the folder and give it a name. And also I changed my color just to a light uh, tealish color, just so it doesn't hurt my eyes when I look at it and yours since obviously I'm recording all of this. Okay, so hopefully that gives you an idea of how to navigate around Unity. Uh, let's get, let's continue right on in the next video. See you there.